Okay, so, um, and this Ashtanga Express will be holding the poses as we move through them um, when we're getting to the standing series for five breaths. And so I always tell that every week, I kind of reiterate uh, five breaths, two and a half rounds of breath. So, um, you know, you have an inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and then an inhale, or we start on the exhale, the opposite. And if you have a playlist, you can get that started now. The only prop I ever suggest really is block or blocks, but you can have all of the props you'd like, um, especially for the rest portion. And we'll get started today um, in child's pose. So if you'd like, you can take your block and place it out in front of you. So, your block, if you have it, I like the kind of middle, middle low setting, especially early. If you can rest your elbows on here, slide your head, slide your head through the arms, as low as it'll go. It may not come to the ground. And then you can bend the elbows back. And so I know I'm talking to my shirt there. Um, the elbows pressing onto the block, you can bend the elbows back and reach your fingers for the, you know, the, shoulder, the neck and shoulders, the skull. If you want to get into those a little bit more, if there's a different version of this posture you'd like to take, yeah, if you have two blocks, two blocks are fantastic, one for each elbow. Um, you know, work with what you've got and there might not be props where you are. So just use the ground beneath you. Let's take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Anything you might be holding on to, starting to set that aside, a deep, deep breath in and another full exhale out. Let's add a little intention to our breath. So I want you to start working on a balanced breath. Um, where we match the inhale to the exhale in length and attention as best as we can. So counting to five on the inhale as it travels from your low back into your shoulders. And as you exhale, following the breath out, your knees can be wide, they can be together, you know, however you're in this shape, this balasana, child's pose, Make it work for you today. You've chosen, you've signed on, you've logged in, you're here with this class. Um, and now begins the practice of yoga. Deep breath in, finding that count of five, and a long breath out. Take three more rounds just like that on your own. And then starting to work your way to hands and knees, you can extend the arms. Yeah, come off of your block. Find your way to table and find the movements that work for you there. So um, you can cat cow, you can stretch the wrists, you can Yeah, sway the hips. There we go. Let's take a couple more cycles of breath. Have a little technical difficulty here. There we go. And then finally, let's just take that table pose and take your right toes and tuck them in back behind you. With that right knee lifted, so you're finding a little stretch in the calf muscle of the back of that right leg. Keep pressing the ground away, starting to look forward, stay broad in the upper back. 
Take one more inhale. And then exhale, set that right knee under the hip. Take the left leg back, tucking the toes at the back of your mat. The knee comes up, the gaze stays forward, and the hands keep pushing the ground away. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And then exhale, set that left knee down. Let's press the hands into the ground, tuck your toes, lift both knees and inch off the ground. Feel the ribs wrap around the navel. Exhale. And then inhale, lift the knees an inch higher. Exhale, press more firmly with the hands. And then inhale, a nice bent knee down dog. Try to keep your base forward here. Stay spacious in your shoulders. As you exhale, you'll just slowly walk your feet to the top of your mat. And then bending the knees slightly, press down to the feet as you inhale, round up to standing. Finding Tadasana at the top of your mat. Close the eyes, find your feet firmly rooted. And think of, um, Opposition here to create expansion within yourself. Okay, how do we simultaneously root into the moment, finding now, and expand ourselves all the way up into all that we are? So the top of the head reaches a little taller for the ceiling for the sky. The fingers spacious and energized, the space between the fingers. Um, Imagining it being energized, right? Active all the way up the arms and the legs into the navel. Take a deep, deep breath in. Atha Yoga Nushasana now begins the practice of yoga. So as you exhale, bring the palms together over the heart. We'll start our series Sun A. Tadasana, inhale, Urdhva, Namaskar, upward reaching as you inhale. And then exhale to forward fold. Really bend the knees on the way down, straighten the legs up above. Inhale for length, that block might be nice to start with looking forward, hands to the block position. Exhale to find your first plank. Press the ground away with the hands as you inhale. As you exhale, let's just find down dog this first time. Inhale. Exhale. And then your, your breath in, you'll come up to your toes, look forward, exhale, work the feet to the top. Inhale, find that length, look forward, long legs, long spine, exhale, fold in, look for your belly button. Inhale to stand up tall, that Urdhva Namaskar, upward reaching, and then exhale, hands rest over the heart, gaze is forward. Again, inhale to reach up, starting again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to find length. We're going to take the exhale to go to plank and lower to our stomachs for knees, chest, chin, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale to cobra, toenails down, head, heart, shoulders lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. So one and a half full cycles of breath to move through. Um, any stretches you might want as you invert here. Breathe in. What do you need now? Breathe out. Your inhale will bring you to your toes and your exhale will work your feet to the top of the mat. For a length, you'll look, inhale, look forward. Exhale, look for the belly button. Inhale, stand up tall, reach up. Exhale, hands to our heart. Let's round two them. Inhale, extend, maybe add the back foot. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, look forward. Exhale, plank and lowering, or maybe Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering halfway. Tops of the feet or toes tuck for up dog, thigh bones are lifting. And then exhale, down dog. Those three breaths here. Taking your time. And then your inhale will bring you to your toes. Your exhale will work your feet to the top. The longer your breath, the more time you'll have, right? Inhale, find length, so give yourself what time you need. Exhale.
exhale, fold in. Inhale, you'll stand up tall, reach up to the ceiling, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Moving on your own, if you're ready, the inhale to find extension and expansion, exhale to fold over yourself. Inhaling, and then maybe again, you work, you choose, you can hold plank always instead of taking tower or Dasana. You can still, if you like that collarbone opening, take an up dog. With those toes tuck, you can really reach the heels slightly back and thighs up. So that down dog, I love a bend knee down dog. You take what works for you. Have your three breaths. Using the inhale to come up onto the toes and look forward. The exhale to travel to the top. Finding your length as you inhale. And exhale, settling into the fold, stretching the legs. Inhale to stand up, extend up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Last round, breathing in, Urdhva Namaskar. Breathing out, Uttanasana. Inhale, Urdhva Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And then exhale, Adhva Mukha Svanasana. Take your full breath. Inhale up. Exhale just to the top. We travel. Inhale from length. And then exhale right back in. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, hands over the heart. Starting Surya B, when you're ready, we'll sit in the chair. And this first time, let's just check in with our chair. So anyone finishing up your Sunday, if you'll join us. And you can take a tall chair, okay? Like your, your legs are working, depending on what you've been doing. It's a lot of, of effort in those muscles and the mind's wandering. Back off there. Take it up taller, reach longer. If you'd like to go real deep, I love a good tip of the fingers, touch, check in with the chest, and then just floating. And then there's always hands to heart center. Notice if you're clenching your hip flexors. Let's exhale, forward fold. And it starts to feel a little juicy. Inhale for length. Exhale all the way through Chaturanga Dandasana, if you'd like it. From your down dog, you're going to look forward and step your right foot to the top. Planting the back heel, your left heel down. Come up, inhale, warrior one. Right hip's beside the left. Exhale, take it to plank. And this is where you'll have an option when you're moving uh, to take another chaturanga or transition that lower to lift. Take it to down dog, looking forward, step your left foot to the top, right heel plant, come on up, warrior one. So that right side, left side quality. Starting to build our patterns here, stepping back. Down dog, five breaths. Maybe you have a little more time. This sequence asks a little more, right? We're building our heat, we're building the effort. So counter it with a little more time to settle in, to reset. And your inhale will bring you onto your toes, same transition. Exhale, work your feet to the top. Find the length on the inhale and the exhale to fold in. I like two fist distance between my feet for chair, but you can bring the toes together so the knees touch. Inhale, chair pose. And then exhale, stand tall, close the series, hands over your heart. Gaze lifted and slightly forward. Like I like I love more slightly even lifted there. So we're gonna be inhale, chair. Exhale into the fold. Inhale for length. Exhale, plank to lower and lift. Taking your version of it. Down dog, try to keep looking forward so that right foot steps to the top. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands come down. Maybe you take Chaturanga Dandasana. Looking forward, left foot to the top from down dog. The breath in, the arms come up. And then exhale, stepping, maybe lower and lifting. When you find that down dog after both warrior ones, 
you have five breaths. And depending on how long you make your inhales, maybe it's that count of five. The more time you have. When you're ready, and your fifth breath, your inhale breath, will lift you onto your toes. As you exhale, you will take your feet up to the top. Inhale to find length, Ardha Uttanasana. So extension of the spine, extension of the legs. And then the exhale to fold in. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stand up tall, hands come to your heart center. Okay, that was the right two. We'll do inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. For length, look forward, inhale. Exhale. Lower lift, inhale. Down dog is a breath out and a step to the top. Breathing in to rise into warrior one. Breathing out. You might just, again, hold. Maybe you add some of this something in. That same, that second down dog takes the left foot to the top. And then finally, after your third down dog, you'll take those five breaths. We'll finish up this round. We've got five rounds. I might have lost track, so. Um, taking two more on your own after completing this one. It's just pretty much sunny except you've got a couple chairs and a couple warrior ones. And if Sun B feels like too much today, then take Sun A's. And if Sun A's, you need rest, take child's pose. Your practice begins now. So what do you know that you need? Keep breathing. Not about gonna get right. We're trying to move away from those dualities in yoga. So whatever you're doing is enough. It's probably exactly what you needed. Lovely work, everyone. Maybe instead of resting those five breaths in down dog, you rest in child's pose or kneeling meditation. Um, hero's pose. Once you finish um, your last round, your fifth round of Sun B, just find Tadasana, the top of the mat. You can take the stance a little wider, let the arms rest beside you. Nice job, Will, great form. Everyone's doing wonderfully. Yeah, we'll all meet up shortly, resting. Take your time. Great work, Emma, got this. When you find Tadasana, check in. What are the similarities from when you first arrived? What stays the same? What's different? That could be physically, mentally with the thoughts. 
Long breath in, fill, fill, fill. Open up the mouth and exhale, let it all out. And let's find a eyes fluttered open. Finding your gaze uh, eye level. You can take your feet a little wider even here than, than, than even your normal stance or wider than that, almost as wide as your mat if you'd like. Hands will come to the hips, gaze is forward, and then start to lift the gaze, your chin will lift, inhale, lift your heart. As you exhale, bend your knees and lift your heart, go forward and down as you forward fold. Knees stay bent until you can get index and middle fingers around the big toes. Wrap them around, extend the spine. So really lengthen as you look forward. Take that space in front of you. And then exhale, fold and bend the elbows out to the side, allowing the head to fall. Five breaths. Inhaling. Exhale, you'll release the bind. Look forward as you inhale. And then sliding the hands underneath the feet, palms up. As much as you can get the toes to the wrist. Same thing, knees stay bent, keep looking forward, elbow reaching back. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Lift your skull, drop towards the ground. Maybe rock back and forth as you take those five breaths here. And then inhale, you'll lengthen the spine. Exhale, step your or slide your hands out from under your feet. Breathing in, you'll stand up tall. That reverse one side breathing. Exhale, hands together over the heart. Bring your feet together to meet. Inhale, lift the gaze slightly. Let your left foot be planted and lift the right leg. As you exhale, step it to the back of your mat. You can pivot on that left heel or you can step it back and then pivot on both feet. So we're finding a wide-legged stance to the long edge. This is always our transition, okay? Arms out to a T, right toes turn to the short edge, left heel drops back. You've got that block, might be handy on this right side, extended triangle pose. If you know the pose, get into it. I like to think of reaching the right hand forward, reaching the left hip back. And then the exhale to hinge into it. The block, I like to place it right behind my right heel. Um, you can keep the hand on the shin if there's not a block available. Find your five breaths. So we're probably more than halfway there. Stay strong through the legs. You're gonna look down to your right foot. Inhale, bending the knee slightly. Coming up through center. Switching hands with the block if you've got it. Okay, I like to just travel with my block. Left toes to the long edge, right toes to the short, or left toes to the short edge, right toes to the long edge. And then reach with the inhale. Let it expand the side ribs. Try to keep that space as you exhale. Take the right arm high, left hand to the block, the shin, the ground. And just depending on how mobile how you are today. For your five breaths, feel the oppositions here. Right hand reaching away from the left. Right foot pressing away from the ground or your right heel, your anchor. And the right hip slightly forward rolling, okay? This, there's two rotations happening. Your bottom leg's an external rotation and your right leg, your top leg's an internal rotation. Looking down to your left foot, inhale, bend that left knee slightly, come on up through center. You can set that block behind you. Twisted triangle. Um, you're going to pivot. I like to bring my feet a little closer together. You're going to pivot to the short edge of the mat towards the back of your mat. Right foot to the right, left foot to the left. Left arm reaches high, right hand on your hip. Inhale, come forward about halfway. And then as you exhale, that block can land under the left hand. Right hand to the sacrum or even to the sky. Looking past the fingers, side breaths. Twisting. That's a big stretch for the right IT band and the legs. So be patient with yourself. Try not to lock out your joints. A lot to keep in mind. Try to maybe focus on one thing. When you really feel like you've got that down, you can maybe take your focus to the next thing. 
Looking down as you inhale, maybe grabbing that block with that left hand. Exhale, come on up to this uh, five, you know, pointed star. You're gonna switch, bring that left block down or the block down to your left. Turning back towards the top of your mat. Left hand on the hip, right hand high. Inhale to find length. Press the feet down. Exhale, come on long and down, looking forward always. Let that gaze inspire your pose and then taking a twist. Whether you look up or down is up to you, but I find when I look down, that left shoulder drops. So left arm drops away. Try to keep expansive here. Feet pressing down, right hand down into the ground or block. Left hand up to the sky and high. Or the left elbow if the palm is on the low back. You'll look down to that left foot as you exhale, inhale, bending the knee. Come on up as you breathe out. Take a deep breath in. I like to set that block down at the back. Exhale, both hands and feet meet top of your mat. All right. Same thing, gaze lifts, left foot heavy. Inhale, lift the right leg. Step it to the back of your mat. Turning the right toes to the short edge, left toes to the long edge. Warrior two takes us into extended side angle. Breathing into this side expansion pose, five breaths. You might bring that right hand to the block inside the right foot. My shoulder and wrist have been feeling a little jammed up, so I'm taking a little different stretch here. Taking the back of my hand even to the ground. Press arm into leg, leg into arm. Left foot way back behind you. Inhale, look down. Exhale, come up, pivoting the feet, breathing in. Left toes to the short edge, right toes to the long edge. Exhale, warrior two, then inhale into that side angle, extended side angle on the other side. Try to stay spacious. What did we learn in our first pose? How can we carry it forward into this pose? Breathe out. Another round and a half ahead of us. Check in with it. Squeeze the glutes to help open up the hips. Inhale, look down. Exhale, come on up. Palms will come to your heart center. We take twisted prayer twist lunge to the back of your mat. So you got to. I like to think it's like moving like a, you know, a helicopter. You're coming back to the back of your mat. Left heel comes up, really get that tailbone down so you're not tucking or tilting your pelvis. Nice neutral pelvis. Hinge forward, really forward, forward, forward. Drive your left heel back in opposition. Looking as much of that left arm outside the right leg, then you can look past that right elbow. I sometimes like to make a fist with my left hand and bring the palm of my hand to that left fist. Really spiraling, spiraling the spine. Keep pulling the right hip back, keep reaching the left thigh bone to the sky. Your knees down, bring it a lot today with the leg up, bring the knee down. Your inhale, you look down to that right foot. Come on up, so you exhale. Breathing in, pivoting, and turning to the top of your mat, left toes to the short end, right heel lifted. And then once again, you know, make sure you check with your pelvis. We have habits until we slow down. So we come to now, we don't know what they are. Notice how your gaze impacts your pose. So we're gonna look forward, reach forward, look forward, reach forward. And then finally, hooking elbow outside of the thigh. Yeah, and five breaths. Everyone looks so strong. Great work. And then after that fifth breath, you'll look down, inhale, come on up, exhale. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, close the pose at the top of your mat. And take this into our hold section, gaze is lifted, right leg lifts, inhale, step it way back to the back of your mat. Okay, and then I think let's try today like sliding your hands into your imaginary pockets behind you, elbows back slightly, feet down, inhale, gaze lifts, heart lifts. Exhale, bend the knees a little bit, think thigh bones press back as you fold forward, bringing the hands down to the ground or onto your block, trying to leverage the support beneath you so you can fold into this shape. So I can really get my heels and my hands in line with the heels of my feet. My fingers are a little further back that way, but my elbows bend kind of like a chaturanga, so I can draw myself into the fold. 
Are we casually experiencing the pose or are we here curious? Um, you've arrived for the practice. The sutras start with that Atta Yoga Nushasana now begins the practice of yoga. It's very intentional where you arrive now. You're paying attention to the present moment. Your inhale will lengthen your spine as you look forward. Exhale, hands to your hips, stand up nice and tall. Palms meet behind the low back, interlace your fingers, reach the knuckles down, inhale, heart lifts up. Once again, exhale, bend the knees, thigh bones back, and arms reach overhead, taking your five breaths there with the bind. Trying to find the movement from the shoulders and not from the hands, just dumping forward. Notice if your butt's taking you back, see if you can actively reach from your thigh bones back and not as much from the hips, because the weight going to the heels, the ball mounds. What are our habits? Great work, everyone. The exhale will release the hands down. Inhale to find length. You might bring your feet a little closer together, big toes, um, index and middle finger, grab the big toes. Lengthen and look forward as you inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows towards the short edges of your mat and fold in. Five breaths. Try to stay energized in your legs. Feel your feet press down, your hips tilt up. Maybe look for your belly button. Notice how your gaze affects the pose. You'll look forward, inhale, releasing the bind. Exhale, hands to your hips, stand up tall. Arms reach apart, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands and feet meet at the top of your mat. And then hands lift, bring them to the hips. Gaze is lifted, lift that right leg up, and then step it about halfway back behind you. You're gonna pivot to the long edge and then pivot right foot to the right, left foot slightly to the left. I always suggest for pyramid, your back foot's at about a 45. It's helpful for getting that femur turned into that hip properly. And then the right toes point to the short end of your mat. So they're straight forward. You'll grab um, opposite elbows or reverse prayer, whichever feels more available today. Woo. Okay, inhale, look up, lift the gaze, let the heart chase the gaze. Exhale, let your heart lead you forward. Keep pulling that right hip back. Take a deep breath in, sternum reaching for the foot. Exhale, tuck your chin in, five breaths. Try not to lock out the joints. When we talk about a micro bend in our legs, it's so that we don't lock out when we engage the muscles around the big bones in our thigh, a big bone in our thigh, the two bones in our shin, around the kneecap. Find your diagonal lines, big toe to outer edge of the heel, pinky toe to the inner edge of the heel on that right foot. Looking forward, bending that right knee, inhale, come on up. Exhale, pivot and turn to the top of your mat. Left foot more to the left, right foot slightly turned out. And if you have opposite elbows, switch which forearm is on top. Maybe reset your prayer hands. Inhale, again, gaze lifts, heart lifts. Exhale, start to work forward and back. Let that gaze be long. Inhale, sternum to your toes. Exhale, bend chin to your chest. Looking slightly back behind you. Five breaths. Keep pulling the left hip back. Your right heel is your anchor, pushing your right hip forward. Again, try not to lock out the joints. Take a long breath out. Inhale, looking slightly forward, bend that left knee. Come on up as you exhale, find the long edge of your mat. Reach the arms apart, releasing the binds. Inhale, exhale, hands and feet, knee at the top of your mat. Okay, and the balancing series here, we'll start with the left foot planted. I'm gonna really encourage that you find your gaze um, elevated. It'll help you keep that spine in, in, in its natural long line. So left foot planted, inhale, lift the right leg. You can bring the right hand to the knee and keep it there, or you can start to bring the fingers around the big toe, keeping the spine long. And then extending that right leg. Left arm can reach up to the ceiling. I would rather you stay with the bent knee than work into extended leg with your spine falling forward. Really try to keep that spine long. 
Activate your left glute, stay strong in the left foot. Last exhale here. Inhale. And then exhale, take the right leg over to the right, left arm over to the left. And it could be bent leg, straight leg, bent elbow, straight elbow. Woo. Where's your gaze? Can you lift it slightly? How does that help with the shape? How does that work with the shape? Does it help even at all? Okay, you'll inhale, bring it back through center, keeping the right leg floating, working head to knee pose, five breaths. Inhaling to the back of the lungs. Stay strong through the right glute as well. Exhale. Don't forget about the floating leg. Inhale. Exhale. And then as you breathe in, you'll keep the right leg afloat, but release it, reaching up. Breathe out. Inhale, lift the right leg a little higher with the gaze. Exhale here. Woo. Inhale, lift, lift it one breath higher. And then exhale. Set it down, shake it out. Maybe tap the top of that left foot down. Wait to go. Gaze is lifted, right foot's planted. Inhale, lift the left leg. Hand to the knee, or maybe index and middle finger, grab that toe. And then you find the spine long, the knee working up. Inhale to extend the leg, maybe the arm. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Don't forget about the right side staying long, right foot active. Left foot active, exhale, open it up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two breaths here, hold. The inhale is our transition. Left leg comes forward. Exhale, working your head towards that left knee. It might feel a mile away, okay, be okay with that. Breathe in. Stay strong through both legs, both feet. Exhaling. Inhale, last breath out. And then you'll release the leg. Inhale. Stay strong. Exhale. You have this focus, your gaze. Inhale, lift the breath. Leg. Exhale. Last inhale, lift it up. And then exhale. Set it down. Shake it all out. You did it. We did it. Okay. All right. Let's take a little movement um, through the whole body. Sun A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to find length. Exhale, maybe chaturanga to dasana. Up dog. Down dog. Keep looking forward and let's just step or hop it up to the top. Inhale, right into chair. And five breaths here. Maybe you have a taller chair. Mine's I think we're like bar stool today, <laughs> the second time. So, um, what do you need? Find your gaze. Is it falling down? Do you use that? Leave the torso down. Maybe lift the gaze. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to find length. Exhale, one last time, maybe Chaturanga Dandasana, maybe just an up dog. That bend knee down dog, look forward, and then step the right foot to the top of your mat. Come on up on the inhale, warrior one, we're gonna hold for five breaths. So exhale, really strong, keep pulling the right hip back. Breathe in, reach out of the pelvis. Right shin away from the left heel. Breathe out. Start to look up maybe to the hands. I like to fixate my gaze. As you breathe in, you straighten that right leg. You pivot towards the back of your mat. So first the long edge, then to the pocket, and exhale, bend that left knee. Finding your warrior one. Five breaths. Left hip drawing back, right hip drawing forward. There's a fell back bend here. You can take the extension even into the neck if you look up. Last inhale, reaching out of the pelvis, try to keep the side bodies long. Staying on your left side, open up to warrior two. So warrior two is on the left leg first. Yes. Squeeze the glutes, feel the outside edge of your right foot behind you. Your chest open. 
And then the inhale, you'll straighten that left leg, turn the left toes, turn the right toes as you exhale, bend the right knee, warrior two on the right. Heart's open, head, heart, shoulders, or head, heart, pelvis, or root or sacrum all stacked up. Gaze over the right fingers. Reach apart to find your expansion. Right shin away from left foot, right fingers away from left fingers. Looking forward, breathe in. Breathe out, heart wheel down. Step the right foot back, down dog, inhale. As you exhale, take your feet as wide as your mat. And press your chest back. Reaching your heels down. And then inhale, step your feet together. And step your hands apart all the way to the edges of your mat. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward, come onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, maybe hop through to seated. Yay, way to go. Nice job, everyone. Um, Let's take this through the basana. If you have two blocks and uh, those are helpful for you, you can place those right by the hips. Hands in front of the bony part of the outside of the hips. Toes back towards you. Start to engage the toes, the arches, the ankles, the shins, the knees, the thighs, the navel, belly button, the spine. Press the hands down, tuck the chin in. Maybe the butt comes up for dandasana. Feel everything within you engaged. So, Staff pose, we're really trying to firm everything up. Ribs wrapping around, you're almost there. Exhale. Soften the hips down, inhale, reach the arms up. Toes stay back, exhale, folding forward. Maybe you get index finger, middle finger on the toes, breathing in for length. And then exhale, folding in, elbows out to the edges of the mat. Your five breaths. A lot of our lungs are behind us. So, you know, imagine taking your breath all the way to the back of your lungs, especially while they're here and open. Last exhale. Looking forward, inhale. Release the thighs, sit up tall. Palms flat behind you as you breathe out. Fingers point to the waist. Inhale, point the toes. And press the hands down, lifting the hips. Reverse plank. Exhale, maybe the knees goes back. Breathe in. Breathe out. You're all, you can always take reverse table. Breathe in, look forward, chin to the chest. Breathe out, lower your hips down. We'll take Janu Shirshasana with the left leg long. So left heel, I like to go at an angle, but you can go straight forward. Turning towards your straight left leg, long spine, squeeze the right glute, exhale, fold in, head to knee pose. The block might be nice to rest on the shin to find the head with contact. You can even bring it outside the back of this, um, your left straight leg and Fold in. The same five breaths. We're almost done on this side. Exhale to soften. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, switch sides. Right leg long, left foot into the thigh, heel to groin. Turn your torso to that straight right leg, flex the toe and activate the left glute. And then exhale, head to knee pose. How close or far you feel from this um, right leg will vary. It doesn't have to look exactly like the other side. After your last exhale, you'll inhale. Slowly sit up tall. Um, we'll twist to the left. So what I just like to do here is bring that right leg a little more to the right. Bring your left knee forward. And then, actually, I love it. You're going to bring your right knee forward. 
and step your left foot over that right leg. If you can't, um, this it doesn't feel comfortable with the with your bottom leg bent, you can always keep that right leg nice and straight. You're gonna have your right arm around that left leg, plant your left hand behind you, and take it into the twist. If you wanna go deeper, you can reach up and then take the elbow across, right elbow across the left thigh. Notice where your gaze goes. Can you take your gaze to deepen the twist? Sitting taller with the inhale, bringing out deeper with the exhale. Last breath in, starting to look forward. Exhale, unwind, counter twist, left elbow inside, left knee, right hand behind you, breathe in. And then breathe out. You'll release, switch, left thigh bone forward, left knee pointing forward. Right foot stepping over the left leg. Left arm hugging right leg, left right hand behind you. Inhale for length and exhale to twist. Maybe you add depth to the twist by taking the left arm onto the thigh. Notice what's in contact with the ground. Try to utilize that space. Use what's beneath you. Left, uh, left sit bone, right sit bone, right foot, right hand. Last inhale for length. And then as you exhale, come through center, take a deep breath in, counter twisting. And exhale, soften, release. We've got, uh, ooh, we're doing pretty good today. Um, I'm gonna take us through a couple of pendant poses. So we haven't done that always, it's called Lolasana. You've got a couple of options. Um, we typically do this in a boat variant. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we take boat, right? And we did Dandasana earlier. So you plant your hands kind of in front of your hips, cross your ankles, and here try to float the butt off the ground. So blocks underneath the hands can be nice. Um, you can even do it like in a actual swinging pendant variation, which would be just on your hands and knees, pressing the arms down, trying to lift onto the tops of the feet, and then maybe eventually picking your feet up off the ground. So take a, take a choice, butt or shins, and then let's just try to find those uh, press down to lift up. And, and you may not lift your whole body up, you might just press into your feet to start to lift the hips up to engage the arms. Take another breath in, and then exhale lower down, lifting the arms. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, hands come down. Let's work into a little bit of a bridge. We'll do two bridges, and then the third time, um, you can stick to bridge, or you can take full wheel. Coming onto your back, you can also take a restorative bridge the whole time, and having that lock underneath your sit bones. Coming onto your backs, knees up. I like to think about that, about two fist distance between the feet. Toes forward, knees up, head and shoulders down. Inhale, lift the hips. Stay here for five breaths. Inner thighs working to the midline. Head and shoulder pressing down, gaze stays up. Inhale, lift the hips a little higher. Exhale, come on down. If you're gonna go for the next bridge, feet down, maybe walking the heel of a half inch closer to your butt. Head and shoulders pressed out. Inhale, lift the hips up. You can always add the bind underneath the hips, interlacing the fingers, trying to get the arms to leverage the ground beneath you. The more contact space you make, the more you have to press into to expand in the opposite direction. Imagine space between the knees and the armpits as you inhale. More room to grow into. Exhale, compress with it. Inhale, lift your heels. And then exhale, let's come on down. You can even rest on those wrists a little. That might feel nice. Your choice, bridge or full wheel. If you're going to take full wheel, head and shoulders on the ground. Your hands actually flip up and they go back underneath. Your fingers are kind of under your shoulders. Your elbows have to go up to the ceiling. Always like to build this up. So first onto the top of your head, really feeling the hands on the ground. And then extend the arms and legs to find your deep back bend there. So maybe you need that today. That feels super good. Maybe you're like working on it. You try it for just a bit. Five breaths wherever you are. 
Notice if you're forcing or coercing, how can you be here right now and you're in the pose today? You'll come undone as you went up. So you'll come down slowly onto the head and shoulders. If you went to full wheel, inhale, lift your heel, exhale, come on down. Let's take the feet apart, let the knees buckle in. On your backs here, give yourself a hug with the arms around the chest. Take a deep breath into the upper back. Exhale. Switch which arms on top, take a deep breath in. A long breath out as you exhale. And then um, I want us to try a little something. So it's to help with the mechanics of shoulder stand eventually. You'll straighten your legs, and if you've got your block or a prop that you can place between your feet, I want you to do so, so you can squeeze onto it. If it's a lot at your feet, you can bring it under, um, in between the knees, okay? So legs as straight as you can get them. Head and shoulders resting down, hands will rest by your hips. Do you inhale, I just want you to lift your tailbone up, and then set it down. Exhale, lift it up, set it down. Inhale, lift it up, Set it down. Exhale. So it's just a little lift of the tailbone pelvis up. Let's do three more of those. Inhale, lift and lower. Do all one breath. Exhale, lift and lower. Last inhale, lift and lower. Drop the block as you exhale, set the feet down. We're going to take this to plow so the block can go behind the head if you'd like. I find that arm's length is usually a pretty good place. Same thing here. Lift the legs. And then inhale, toes up and over, and they may never find the ground. Okay, head and shoulders are pressing down. If you would like, you can rest the toes on your block to find the ground a little closer up. Your feet work down to the ground pretty well. Maybe walking the toes in to drive your heels back. Spiny support for your back. You can scoot the elbows towards the middle, walking the arms up the back. And then your choice to stay in plow or maybe bend the knees into the forehead. A little ball and then even up and extending into lifting the pelvis up forward, pressing the head and shoulders down for shoulder stand. Breath out, breath in. Think about position in Tadasana, feet down, crown high. This is head and shoulders down, feet high. Breath out. You're in shoulder stand, starting to bring your feet back behind you. Inhale. Everybody release the hands. I like to grab the edges of my mat some days, just so I've got some leverage. And then slowly unwind the spine. So the legs go long down your mat. Right thumb under right sit bone, left thumb under left sit bone. It's like you slide part of your hand under your butt. Feet together, point your toes. Inhale, head, heart, shoulders lift. Pressing the forearms down. And then breathe out as the head goes back for fish pose. Five breaths. Really take it until the collarbones, breathe out. Notice where you're sinking, you're sagging, you're dumping. Energize, activate, breathe in. And out. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, lower head and shoulders down. Let your hands slide out. Let's inhale, stretch out long tips to toes. Woo. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. And then let's plant the feet down, scoot the hips slightly over to your left, knees drop out over to the right, arms can go out to the side. Maybe picking up the head and turning it to the left. Five breaths. You'll inhale up to the ceiling. Exhale, feet, knees, hips through center. Breathing in, hips to the right, knees to the left. Breathing out, head goes maybe to the right. Five breaths. And then gazing to the ceiling on your inhale. Exhale, bring the hands in or the feet. And hips through center. You can just take the right leg to the right corner of your mat, left leg to the left corner of your mat. Find the arms maybe in that more of a paper doll shape. Toes can go in and out. Chin, chin tucks in, and then maybe that 
Full inhale, 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 lifting the arms and the legs one inch, two inches off the ground, activating everything, and then exhale, letting it all go softly in. Just gonna find a few minutes of rest in the Shavasana. Can you allow the body to settle? Yeah. Soften the arches, soften the ankles. Maybe a releasing exhale through the mouth. Our breath is our constant teacher. It's the thing we have with us everywhere we go. It's that tool that we can use to bring ourselves to the moment at hand to right now. Knowing the chance to start again is available with that simple breath. The idea that once the breath is gone, it's gone. That moment is gone and we've come back to the next moment. Notice anywhere you might be holding on, if you can just let go. Pay attention to the breath, that tool to help us anchor where we are as we are. Notice, does it grow longer as you pay attention to it? The inhale travel maybe to more obscure places and spaces within the self. There's something greater to be surrendered with the exhale. As you keep paying attention to the breath, spread that awareness through the body, out to the toes, down into the ankles, the space between the fingers, the wrists, with intention and attention adding in the movements that work for you. And turn the tops of the thighs to the sky and walk your feet in towards your seat. Maybe hug the knees into the chest that feels right. Tipping over to a side or up to seated with a long spine. And then 
mindfully. The palms will meet over the heart. The eyes can be closed, dipping the chin towards the chest. Gratitude here for this moment right now. This practice bringing us to our power in the very moment at hand. And that the moment we're in, the present, is always available to us. We can just slow down and check in, just be. Lifting the thumbs to the third eye. May our love, our light inspire our thoughts, words, actions, behaviors, habits, our samskaras, the patterns in which we move through the world. Bowing forward to seal your practice. Namaste.